Are you considering selling everything and hitting the road full time? We have five questions that you must ask yourself before going full time. Hey everybody, I'm Garrett. And I'm Carolyn. And we're Diary of a Family. We're living life intentionally with you. For the last three years, we have been living full time in this RV. And we've been loving every minute of it. As a family, we are here to walk you through the steps that you need to take to get your family off on their adventure in the best means possible. Let's take a look at five essential questions that you need to ask yourself before you jump into this lifestyle. Question number one, is your family or spouse or significant other actually willing to join you on this crazy adventure? Having your family on board with this lifestyle is crucial, down to the youngest one and most importantly, your spouse. You don't want any kind of conflict or strife going into this lifestyle. You want to be doing this as a team. Now, there will be conflicts as you go along. This is not going to solve your inner problems of your family, but it does give you a chance in a new environment to address relational issues. But you don't want to drag anyone into a huge change. If your spouse is hesitant in traveling full time, suggest six months to a year as a short term option. And then if you love it, stay with it. Number two. How will you pay for this? That's a good question. Some people going the short-term route have savings that they decide that's what they're gonna dip into. Others, like us, had a way of earning money while we were on the road. The third option is waiting till you retire to hit the road. But if you're traveling with the family, it's kind of too late. We really highly suggest you get out there and explore this lifestyle before retirement. Check out this video that we did about a year ago on options for you, how to earn money while you're on the road. Question number three that you need to ask yourself, what RV setup is going to be best for you, your family, and the type of travel that you want to do? We also did a video on this. I'll link that as well up here and in the description. We really go into detail about trying things out and figuring out what works for you and your family. It is really crucial that you find something that you will feel comfortable in. Not every floor plan that works for one family is going to work for your family. And what kind of traveling you're going to do, such as long term in a place or short term hops where you're traveling a lot. If your child is young and needing uh, potty breaks and that kind of thing, all of these questions factor into what setup is going to work best for you. An A class, a C class, or a fifth wheel, maybe even a pull behind. Number four, what role will you take in this new lifestyle? Will you be the one driving or will your spouse be the one that drives? Will you be the one that plans the route out or takes care of tunes? Figure that out. This tends to develop as you get on the road, but if you think your spouse is gonna do the driving and they think you're gonna do the driving, well then, uh, Someone's got to do it. <laughs> figure that out ahead of time or work as a team to begin with and then as you travel along those roles will really work themselves out and you'll figure out what you're most comfortable with and what they are. It's great too as you have older children to start incorporating them into these roles. More hands make light the work. Our final point today, number five, you need to consider pets and children. If you are a young family like us, you need to consider what's best for your children, homeschooling them, how that's gonna look, uh, and whether or not this lifestyle will work as you raise them. For those of you who have pets currently, it's really kind to think about your pet, their personality, and whether or not this lifestyle is even going to be kind for them. We have a barnyard cat that we had when we lived in a house, and we knew that he would not do well on the road. So we found another home for him and he is loving it. Luckily, our mom has a farm and she was willing to take him in. We still do take care of him, vet bills and food. And when we go to visit her, we get to visit our kitty cat. We do have lots of friends that do travel with pets. So it is very common and it's, it's nice to have that little furry uh, partner on the road. Specifically for cats, 
If you want a cat, you're a cat person, start with a kitten that has a good personality and raise it to be an indoor, outdoor on a leash animal. I have seen it work on the road. Uh, for me though, our cats are usually free range and that just does not work for this lifestyle. If you are thinking about joining this full-time RVing lifestyle, leave a comment in the description. We would love to connect with you and chat with you about this amazing lifestyle. We're going to also leave a link for full-time families for those of you who are on the road with children. This is a great community that you can become a part of. Use our link to become a member today and we'll see you at a rally down the road. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live, live life intentionally. intentionally. Bye. Bye.